What is up YouTube? It is The Ville Outdoors here. Today is August 25th of 2021. I'm here at one of my favorite creeks in the area, but I actually haven't gotten the chance to fish it this summer with all the traveling I've been doing and trying to find new spots to film videos for you guys. I haven't got to fish this creek this summer, but there was actually a point in time where this was like the only creek I fished during the course of the summer. Um, so we are back to this creek again. I fish this a lot in the spring and winter for trout, but haven't gotten the chance to fish it for bass and panfish in quite a while. So we're just gonna do some casting around today in some of these deeper pockets and see if we can catch anything. Mostly gonna be smallmouth bass, probably some red breast sunfish and we'll see what else comes up today. I already got a fish on. That looks like one of the species I just mentioned. And that is going to be a red breast sunfish. So that came on the same crayfish jig I was using in my last video. I didn't even get a chance to tie on a new lure, but I figured this would work just as good. And that is a little baby sized red breast sandfish, red breast sandfish, red breast sunfish, geez. So we're gonna take a shot of this guy. We're gonna let him go. First fish of the day. On my first cast. All right, let's go ahead and hook, unhook our sunfish here. He's not too happy with his new lip piercing. There he is. Just a little guy. I saw a little, some little smallies and maybe a little largemouth right on the left-hand side here. Let's see if we can get one of them to bite. I want to thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me. We are only 14 subscribers away from the time I'm filming this video. Uh, 14 away from 600 that is. And if you enjoy what you see here today, want to see me film some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And there's going to be a little bell right next to that you're going to want to hit so you get notified when I upload a video. The main idea when you're fishing these creeks, you want to fish light. This is not a very wide creek. So you're wanting to use ultralight gear. Um, I got the Ugly Stick GX2. Um, this is a six foot. I got this as like my, not my first starting fishing pole, but like my first um spin spinning setup this is my my starter rod before this i had one of those push button ones and it, it's a great starting combo i swapped out the reels since because the reel they give you on it is not the best so this is a daiwa ninja 2000 lt which has done well for me so far. And then I have four pound monofilament on that because you want to fish light line. This is my, my trout rod as well. So light line helps with catching those trout during the spring and winter. And it's also the perfect line weight when you're fishing these creeks. I switched up lures from that crayfish jig down to this gold trout magnet. We're just trying to do some multi-species creek fishing today, so we don't need anything super huge to make us work for today. This isn't a very diverse creek as far as bait fish go. You mostly get these um, smaller shiners or crayfish. That's pretty much the only forage in here for these fish. There's not whole lot of bigger meals for them so throwing a bigger presentation wouldn't really help us out too too much in this situation like I just call it a little, little largemouth bass on that trout magnet I saw this guy swimming around the shallows earlier and here he is on our hook now nice little largemouth bass second species of the day let's go ahead take a shot and get this guy unhooked a couple of years ago, I actually caught a two pound smallmouth during the month of May on one of those gold 
trout magnets and it still might be my PV smallmouth. I caught that upstream a bit further and it was it was a surprise because it was in very shallow water. It wasn't very deep at all. It was just a, a school of smallmouth that it was in. I just casted the same gold trout magnet, not literally the same one, but the same size and everything. And a two pound smallmouth just crushed it. Just had one get away from me. Got a nice deep pull up against these, this rocky wall. When you're fishing these deeper holes, I like to cast upstream since the trout magnet is a much lighter lure than your typical tackle, it's gonna sink nice and steadily. It's not gonna have like a real fast drop like you're fishing something heavier. It's just gonna be like a nice natural drift down just because it's so light. So I cast upstream to get it towards the bottom of the hole when I want it to. So like when I cast upstream, it's gonna drift down into the middle of the hole as it gets down to the bottom. And if you give it just slight twitches of the rod, probably one to two inches, every here and there, it's gonna give it a little bit of a fluttering action to imitate like an injured shiner or something like that looks at like an easy meal for like a bass or something like that got another fish coming up here and see what we got it is our third species of the day this is a bluegill and this particular bluegill does not look so good it's got some scarring or some sort of marks there not the healthiest of fish but that is our third species of the day a bluegill. Alright, got our little bluegill unhooked here. Just gonna toss him back in. That one came further up in the hole. Got another fish coming up here. Oh, there's a bass following him in. Look at that. It's a, another sunfish. This one's another red breast sunfish. Bit bigger than the one we caught previously. He's got a long body. Look at the pretty red on his tail there. There he goes. Go and go ahead and let him back in. There was a bass chasing him back in like he was gonna eat the sunfish. Got another fish on here. Let's see what this is. It's another red breast sunfish. Pretty little guy. Occasionally you get pumpkin seeds in here, but not too often. In this part of town, pumpkin seeds are hard to come by. You get a whole lot of red breast sunfish, bluegill, and pretty much everything else in the book, as there's another bluegill right there much smaller guy good bait sized but not going to use him for bait today this is also a perfect way to catch bait with the trout magnet fish in these smaller creeks like that I believe we got another species coming up here it is what do we have here a green sunfish so that is our fourth species of the day all we need is the pumpkin seed to complete the sunfish superfecta for Pennsylvania. Pretty little green sunfish. Let's take a shot and let him go. All right, time to let our green sunfish go. Back in the water. This has to be one of the biggest crayfish I have ever seen. And see if I'll take the trout magnet.
Look at the size of that thing. That is a big old crayfish. Nasty. Huge claws on that guy. <laughs> I do not want to get pinched by that guy. Let's go ahead and drop him back in. Took me a while to grab him, but we got him. Arch mouth on the line here. This one a slightly bigger than the one we caught previously. Nice little guy. There was a whole school of them over there by that that down branch. And let some line out so I can handle this guy better. All right, got him right on the side of the mouth on that gold trout magnet. There's like three of them that came out to grab this thing. Be nice if these guys got bigger in this creek. I know they do further downstream, but that's also private down there. You used to be able to fish it before I was born. There's another little guy. Yep. A whole school of them. This one smaller than the last. There he is. Just drop him right on back in. Surprised we haven't caught a smallmouth bass yet. They're usually everywhere in here. Speaking of the devil, there's one. There's a little small jaw. That'll be our fifth species of the day. Just a tiny guy. Got him right on the top of the mouth without trout magnet. There he is, just a little guy, but just as feisty. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot and let this guy go. All right, guys, smallmouth going back in the water here. He is good to go. That one came more out in the current. Smallmouth usually hug the current on the edges of the deeper pools. That way when food drifts over top of them, they can just pick it off fairly easily. Oh, just had another little bite there. Got another fish coming up here, guys. Let's see what we got. It is a green sunfish. Not the small enough bass I was looking for. There was a school of them over there. I actually still see them. I had one on my first cast in this hole and then it got off. I guess I hooked him right on the side or something. Didn't really get a good stick in him. There's a little bass. A little smally. About the same size as the one we caught previously. On the gold trout magnet still. Whoops. That one got away. I don't see where the big one went. I just had a little largemouth chase that all the way in. I didn't even realize. There he is again. That's the same largemouth. He inhaled this thing. We got him loose. Here. 
That is probably the best one of the day. Easily, actually. Like, not close. Nice little large mouth bass there from the creek. Let's go ahead and unhook this guy. Saw him swimming in the school. And cast it at him and we got him. Just like that. Nice little large mouth bass. Let's take a shot or at least this guy. Got ourselves another bluegill here. Just came on the trout magnet. This is the black and gold one, so switched up the presentation a little bit. And there we have our first sunfish. On that color, we're probably at one of our last holes of the day. It's getting hotter out, closer to the middle of the day. It's supposed to go up to 90 degrees today with 94% humidity. So it's going to be quite the scorcher out there today. Why we're not going to be out in this heat too, too much. Why we got out bright and early. We caught a decent amount of fish. Not a terrible amount of size. That one large mouth was fairly nice. I saw two trout around, but they weren't wanting to bite. But during these late summer months, I don't really expect them to. Before I decided to leave today, I'm gonna take a bit of time to try and get our species count up. We're at five species on the day so far, which is about on average for your normal southeastern Pennsylvania Creek. Now we're going to try and get that number up a little bit by doing a little bit of micro fishing on this little stream on the side here. My record at this particular spot in between this stream and the main creek is nine species. So we're going to attempt to either tie that or break that today. Now, tying it is going to be tough. Breaking it is going to be near impossible. I've never caught 10 different species of fish at these particular spots. And I'm not seeing any micro species, which is not a good sign. So I think I'll have to move up the stream to some to try and get them. What I've caught in the past in this little stream here has been common shiners, spot tail shiners. I've caught cutlips minnow, eastern black nose dace. I've caught my first ever blunt nose minnow upstream here. And I think that's, and creek chubs. Creek chubs caught a lot of them out of here. So we're gonna see if we can find anything and maybe get our species count up for the day. All right guys, I think I found my micro species. There's a population of something right in front of me. I'm gonna try and hook one, figure out what it is. They look like Eastern black nose days, but I'm not 100% on that. I finally caught one of the mystery fish and it turned out to be just a normal creek chub. Kind of a slight disappointment, but it is what it is. I'm sure there'll be days somewhere in here. Take a shot and release this guy. Looks like we are ending the day at only six species today. I walked up this stream quite a bit, hoping for something different other than that one creek chub we caught. But sometimes the diversity is there and sometimes it's not. It's weird how it fades in and out, but Right now all I see is creek chubs and that's not what we want. Because creek chubs get old and mundane real quick because they're not cool looking. If we were catching dace or anything else really I would be fine but creek chubs ain't it. But not a bad day on the creek. 
not the spot I originally wanted to fish. I wanted to try a couple different spots on the Perky Omen. Um, but with the thunderstorms we had the past couple days, the water over there was real muddy. The Perky Omen is, gets really affected by the rain and it takes a while for it to water levels to drop back down to normal. Whereas this creek that I'm at right now, the water levels drop and return to normal fairly quickly. Oh, there's a heron. Um, so that's the reason why I came here. I actually drove all the way out there around the Schwanksville area to take a look. And the water just looked a little too muddy for it to be any good. So that's when I decided to come back home and fish some local waters that I haven't hit in a while. It was nice that we were able to get some, some largemouth bass from the creek. Didn't see a whole lot of smallmouth today, or at least any good sized ones. Usually you can find a couple pounders up by the bridge, but didn't see any of those today. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it at least a little bit. And if you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll be trying to post more videos before the end of summer. I actually go back to school like next week, really. So it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to film the videos, but I'm gonna try and do what I can to keep them coming for you guys. On that note, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next episode of the Villa Outdoors.